What the heck is going on guys? Welcome to your third Ajax tutorial and in this video we're finally going to create our very first web based or you know Ajax program, Ajax web page, whatever you want to call it. And before I continue I want to say that in these examples you're going to need PHP so of course you either need um, XAMP or WAMP or what I'm doing is I'm doing it the, <laughs> the really lazy way. I just bought some shared hosting on the server and I do this because it already has like you know PHP admin and uh, you know PHP already installed so you can either you know spend a couple bucks and have a server buy some space that's already got everything installed or install you know XAMPP or WAMP and in the you know PHP tutorials they show you how to do that either Alex or me so anyways let's go ahead and I'll shut up now and actually let me go ahead and show you what example we're making I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create an online restaurant and this is an online restaurant that I created it's called the Chuff Bucket I thought that was a you know appealing name and what I allow users to do is they can type in food such as Apple and as they're typing it in what's going to happen is Ajax is basically going to communicate with the server and say okay do we have the food they typed in or not so Apple of course and this is all done without the user ever submitting the form they never hit enter this is all happening as they're typing so apples of course we don't have um what about bacon oh we got bacon and of course tuna we do have tuna too so that's what program i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make so the very first thing we need to do is we need to build a very basic web page without any scripting without any PHP or JavaScript just so they have an interface and basically what this is going to be is just a header and a simple input you know uh, area that they can type into so the first thing that we need to do is of course create doc type and I'm just going to be using uh, HTML5 style although you probably don't even need this but you know that's not very good programming practice so create HTML and in the head what we want to do is we want to link to our JavaScript file which we're going to be creating soon so script and we'll just go ahead and end this right now wow can't type today alright script script and what type is this which well, is text JavaScript and of course you don't need to name your file the same thing that I name it but the source we'll just go ahead and set this equal to food store dot JS so basically um not right now but probably in like three tutorials we're gonna be creating food store dot JS which is a JavaScript file which is basically gonna res be responsible for you know basically what I'm gonna be teaching you guys but for now we're just creating this basic web page so in the head of course we link to the JavaScript file and in the body is where we're gonna be making our fabulous interface because you know this is like you would pay a web designer like five hundred dollars to design a web page this beautiful now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it for free how awesome is that so the first thing we need to do before we start making those elements is we actually wanna call a JavaScript function as soon as our web page loads so the attribute for this is on load process so this is the very first function and this function is actually gonna be in this JavaScript file right here and it's gonna be called basically to kickstart off our program uh, our Ajax program so now let's go ahead and get to the good web design part heading three go ahead and put the title of your store mine is named the chuff bucket very appealing title I just wanna you know eat food whenever I think of chuffing so next go ahead and give the user a prompt enter the um, food you would like to we'll say order instead of buy and now of course if we gave them a prompt we want to give them some area just a little input box to enter that so the type is just text and the ID is my microphone scratching against my shirt I'm actually wearing a poncho that I got in uh, Mexico right now user input and this is actually important because we need to reference this whenever uh, 
we're working with Ajax so make sure that you do give this the ID and don't forget what it is and under this what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing a portion of the website so we're actually going to be changing a div element and this div the idea of it is we'll just call this the div um, under input because I'll show you guys in a second so this is basically your file and the user input input is of course this little form element right here in this blue text right here this is the under input and I named it because it's under our input so this is the portion that we're going to be changing dynamically based on you know um based on what the user typed in so either it'll either say that they don't have the food or if you have something like tuna we do have tuna do you have meat oh they don't have meat what about a loaf oh they got the loaf sweet so basically this is the portion that's going to be dynamically changing and you actually want to end that tag and you actually want to end this too so um, this is basically let me look everything over one more time is our very uh, simple start to our program now in the next tutorial what I want to do is I want to start building the other files so we basically are building two more files a JavaScript file which stays on you know your client or the users computer and a PHP file or PHP script now the PHP script is what stays on your server and the JavaScript file from the user's computer communicates back and forth with the PHP script on the server and trust me guys it's going to be awesome and if you don't understand that all now you will soon so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video